welcome back to June. Today we're going to be talking about floating toys because uh, it's getting hot out there and these are a great thing to add to these months where we like to hit the beach. So some of the toys we'll be talking about today are kind of built for use on land but also float and then some of them are floating specific toys that are made for our retrievers and our big water dogs. Um, so I'll just kind of talk through some of the toys that we have here uh, and give you some of their perks. So we're going to start with the Liker balls here. These guys are super fun. They're high density foam. And I'll actually talk about these in conjunction with the pullers because they're made from the same material. Um, these guys come in a bunch of different sizes. They have a tiny dog size too, which is great. Don't forget about your little retrievers, your tiny terriers. Uh, but they've got the big one. The medium comes on a rope. This is really great for flinging out into the water for your toller. Uh, and then the pullers here are also really rad. They function a little bit like a Frisbee, but again, that high density foam, easy for the dog to bite, easy for them to pick up in the water. And then you can also trade with your dog. So if you have a dog that struggles at sharing or resource guarding or is not so great at retrieving, this is a great way to build in that skill. While we're talking about balls, the Chuck It Ultra balls also float. Read the back of your Chuck It balls. They do not all float. We've all lost a ball to the sea. It's hard on the sea and it's also sad for our dogs. So check the ball. The Ultra Float is the orange with the blue, and that guy's the best one for taking it to the water. Um, all of the West Paw toys float, which is really cool. Um, not all of them are designed for use in water. It'd be a little bit silly to take maybe the one that your dog uses to lick his dinner out of out there. But this guy would be great for your dog to share with other dogs at the beach. It's also really chuckable with this great trifecta shape. Um, the Boomy here is an awesome tug toy. Again, great at the beach, and if your dog drops it in the water, it won't disappear, so that's pretty great. These guys also have that little float icon on the back, so just watch for those. Moving on to some of the Refwear toys, these guys here are kind of designed more for our big water dogs. They can be used on land, but they are meant for being in the sea or the lake, salty or briny or brackish or just fresh. Um, this guy here is super fun. This is the Nauta stick. This guy actually floats up and down like this, like a buoy. So it's a lot easier for your dog to grab than your average stick of nature, which will float like this and be hard to see. Um, these guys also come in that great high visibility yellow, which even dogs can see, and they come in a blue and a red as well. Um, a really fun, like chewable material and also actually pretty good for tug. One dog will grab either end and it's pretty cute. Um, this guy here's a lunker. We've all seen something like this. This is what they train our duck retrieving dogs to, to use. Um, these guys use really uh, durable ripstop fabric, the same stuff that goes onto their backpacks and some of their harnesses as well, um, and nautical rope. So this stuff's not going to get super stinky, it'll survive a float in the sea. Next we have the Ruffwear Hydroplane. This guy's super rad. It's also made of that ripstop material, um, super tough. Two different sizes and two different colors as you can see. Uh, again, really great for tug. These guys have some foam in that outer tube so it floats really well and this is called the hydroplane so you know it's going to stay on top of the water. Uh, it also sails pretty far so if your dog likes to run on land you can take this to the beach, use it on the sand, it falls in the ocean, it won't get lost. Um, and also really fun for a dog to play with. Um, so as you're thinking about getting out to the beach or getting out to the lake, make sure you're bringing something that's going to help get your dog's toes into the water. Even if they're not a big swimmer, just dipping will help keep them cool. It'll keep your days a little bit more fun. You can spend longer time out in the sun uh, and build a bond with your dog with playing with some fun toys. I'm going to throw this. Oh, that went pretty far. Nice. Okay. So as you head out to the beach to float, tag us in a post of your dog or video. Videos are great, we'd love to see it. Hit us up in the comments if you have questions, if you're not sure which toy is gonna be great for your dog, let us know, shoot us a DM uh, and have some fun in the sun.